when a car wreck resulted in two twin daughters suffering a brain injury, we had to figure out how to prove an invisible injury to the insurance company. Take a look at how we did it. I mean, it's, they you know spent months trying to, to figure out why they couldn't put one thing together with another. Um, as far as like schoolwork, they'd have to read the same paragraph over and over and over again until they got it right. Um, for main idea, you know, English papers. Uh, they ended up getting tutoring because they were falling behind. And then eventually they figured out a way to cope, but it's never, you know, been 100% perfect since then. One of the things that's difficult for us with the concussion being invisible right. is trying to find a way to quantify the, the deficit, quantify how bad it's been. And with one right. of her daughters, she went from making A's to making A's. So she was making A's before and making A's after. Yet you and your husband, everybody that knew her saw a profound difference. Right. And so an insurance company that we have would take the approach that, well, you were making A's before, you're making A's now, you must not be hurt. Walk us through some of the changes, though, that you saw that showed that she was a different person. It was the, taking the time to get to that A because it, in the beginning, she was able to just, you know, look at the paper, get it done and move on. So her time that it took her to get things done um, was exponentially different. She would uh, get frustrated that she couldn't get a paper done in school um, when she used to be able to get everything done at school. Then all of a sudden now she had homework because she wasn't getting it done in class. Um, English has been the most frustrating for her, the reading comprehension portion. As I said, she can read over and over again and and, and not comprehend. And to this day, she still has that problem.